Metal Kitty, and we're in my craft studio. I'll give you a quick view of <clears throat> everything going on in my craft studio. Uh, there's my Toshiba, and a whole bunch of craft materials, and of course a Joker doll, and there's another Joker picture, and a little bit up here is the Joker statue, which I really love. And over in this direction is my buddy, the Joker doll. And he keeps me company while I'm working on all my Joker crafts. You can see various crafts and various stages. I know it's a mess. Um, art isn't always neat. Some things I want to show you. I did a iron-on with the uh, dark t-shirt paper. I printed that out of uh, Photoshop, did the coloring around the edges, and I just ironed that on. Came out pretty good. There's the t-shirt paper I used. Uh, easy image t-shirt transfers, and it's for, uh, for dark fabrics. Another thing I'm working on <coughs> is the uh, montage. I printed those pictures out on uh, cloth, and I'll show you the cloth uh, a little bit later on. Uh, it goes through the printer, and I did a whole bunch of colored um, pieces of fabric. This is uh, just a you know, like a crazy quilt, a little bit weird and wild, um, and I did these circles. I'm gonna be uh, affixing this to that, and this was actually made uh, just from a regular printer printout, and I used uh, paper glaze on it. <coughs> I'm trying different types of glazes uh, for the pictures and everything. Um, I then put a border around it, you can see kind of sparkly, and I just bought this stuff, and it's uh, Snow Rider. And, uh, it uh, it goes on kind of white, but then when it dries, it dries hard, and it leaves things all sparkly around the edges. So I'm going to be putting that on there, and probably putting some uh, dimensional paint around the edges of the circles. Uh, probably uh, affix some beads and some wire accoutrements that I'm working on. Another thing I made, and this is just kind of silly thing uh, I put together, uh, was another Joker picture, and I found a frame. Uh, in Michael's, uh, in the uh, scrapbooking department, and I thought, oh, I could do something with that. So I just uh, put him on a piece of cardboard, and I put Mod Podge on that, and you can see it made it kind of shiny and, and waterproof. Um, and then I glued a piece of uh, ma magnetic strip on the back and made it a magnet. Then I just glued on some little jewels. Uh, those are inexpensive jewels. Um, you could also put on nice Swarovskis or something, but this is just kind of for fun, so I put on the little jewels, and there's the Mod Podge that I used to make that um, all shiny. And the last thing I want to show you, and this is probably my favorite, um, is this beaded joker. Um, I do seed beading, and I came up with this pattern for the joker, and I made him in, uh, in one night, um, and that's what he looks like all made up. Uh, I'll get a close-up of that uh, with my good megapixels and and put that on the uh, on the page. So uh, you can see I I also put some uh, fixative to to stiffen him up a little bit. Um, but he's quite cute, and this is all done with small seed beads, uh, according to this pattern again that I came up with. If you have any questions, uh, just uh, send me a message, and I'm um, hoping to sh show you more Joker crafts sometime soon. I'm give you one last pan up of my favorite picture on the wall, and on that, I'll leave you. See madness as you know. See madness as you know. Like little politics. Like little politics. Like little politics. Like little politics.
Well, I just want to show you real quick. Um, I got this old uh, vest thing, and um, I wear it a lot. It's nice and soft and comfy. And I took some of the uh, sew-on photo fabric where you can print it out of your printer. And I printed out one of my favorite picks, of course, of course. And that one uh, is an iron-on. Um, I did use a fixative to hold it in place uh, just while I was sewing it. And I did some real quick blanket stitch uh, in purple and metallic thread around the uh, around the edges. Um, but I really like this. I've already worn it to work and um, had a few comments and stuff on it. I'm hoping to put some more uh, Joker pictures on the front, but I was going to use a, another method. I got two long uh, areas here and here and um, I wanted to put uh, some cool kind of combo joker pictures that I manipulated in um, Photoshop. Uh, this is what I'm going to try using. Uh, this is an iron-on uh, fabric transfer and um, I already got it ready and I've got the photos almost done and I'll be probably working on that over the holiday. So I'll let you all know how that comes out and I want to have everybody have a good holiday and have fun with your Joker crafts. Everybody needs a hobby. It keeps you out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Here's something I forgot to show you. I made this little <coughs> wire Joker. Um, I was just farting around one day um, watching YouTube videos and I twisted up um, different colored wire made his hair and eyes and wiggly mouth and everything and I got it taped to this paper uh, because you can see the white I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this um, I just bought a wire cup and I was thinking of uh, fixing him to the wire cup <coughs> and adding some other embellishments um, here's the wire cup so I just got that from Kmart so I was thinking of making like a little wire gun and a little wire knife and doing some silly things on there and taking it to work and using it. Well, just show you another Joker craft. Y'all take care now. You see, I'm a guy of simple taste. I enjoy uh, dynamite and gunpowder and gasoline. What's this? Ah, that, that, that. You know the thing that they have in common? They're cheap. Dar credo, sic gorgianus allos subjectatus nunc. We gladly feast on those who would subdue us. Not just pretty words.